In the last video we have seen how the force hydrostatic pressure force act on flat surfaces and uh, there is an inclined surface like this here there will be center of gravity and here there will be center of pressure so here the effect of force will be present the effect of hydrostatic pressure force will be present at the center of pressure and uh, its value is equal to wa h bar so what if uh, there is a curved surface like this if there is curved surface like this and a curved surface like this um, what will be the pressure so if there is a curved surface like this and uh, there is liquid present here uh, from uh, hydrostatic law what we, what hydrostatic law is pressure increases as the depth uh, increases so here there will be uh, small pressure as we go deep into it there will be increasing pressure these points are deep so there is increasing pressure so where does the uh, hydrostatic uh, resultant hydrostatic force act so somewhere somewhere here it will be acting so how to determine that and uh, what is the force uh, that acts on it in order to determine that we take the only this element sorry in this case this element is taken and in this case this element is taken and we will find uh, the resultant force so what are the forces that will be acting on this curved surfaces from here there will be acting fx and here there will be acting fy these are the pressure forces uh, that are acting on that curved surface and there will be also weight of the fluid weight of this uh, elemental fluid acting downwards and here also same uh, let me draw so here there is all liquid present and we are considering only this part so here this is fx here this is fy and here it is w so what is fx I, in order to uh, we know that f is equal to wa h bar so what is h bar here is we will consider this projected area so this is the projected area on y plane so that is projected area and uh, the horizontal plane the horizontal projected plane is this is the horizontal projected plane this is the vertical plane and on this fx is acting and uh, on this plane the fy is acting so what will be the fy if we consider this uh, this as radius r this is uh, this curve is radius r and it is a segment of a circle if you consider that radius r and uh, here I, I will consider up to certain length l this is length l uh, and uh, the segment is radius r so fx is equal to w and the projected area is uh, this is l and this uh, this is r and this is l so r into l into h bar what is h bar is the center of this projected area the center of this projected area will be here so from here to here it is r by 2 and from free surface this will be uh, some height uh, h plus r by 2 so h plus r by 2 will be the distance and what is fy fy is equal to so the projected area is here and this is fy sorry this is h bar uh, for fy so fy is equal to w and uh, projected area is here also same r uh, r into l and h bar is 
is per y. So from here to here we can find the distance. Or uh, this is h and this is r by 2. This is r by 2. So w into rl into h plus r will be fy and what is uh, another force that is acting which is w w is equal to specific weight into volume so specific weight into volume is volume is uh, volume of this elemental area uh, sorry volume of this one is uh, pi r square is the area and this is the quarter uh, quarter circle so pi r square by 4 into uh, the length is l so this is the volume so specific weight into volume gives us the weight in order to fi find the horizontal forces and vertical forces we need, first we need to find horizontal and vertical forces what are the horizontal forces horizontal forces is equal to there is only one force which is fx and uh, which is equal to w specific weight into rl into h plus r by 2 and what is vertical force vertical force are there are two forces one is w which is acting downwards and there is one is and the other one is fy this is w this is fy which is acting upwards so the fy minus w and uh, fy is w rl into h plus r into weight of the fluid in the segment is this one so and uh, this is how we need to calculate it on this curved surface so what if the curved surface is in this way so if the curved surface is in this way So this is R and we need to consider this volume. So specific uh, weight is equal to specific weight into volume. What is the volume here? The volume is this is the square. This is the square and this is the circle if I need to find the just a second okay and this is the radius r so this is 2r we need to find the area here to find this area so uh, in order to find that area so the total area of square is 2r whole square minus uh, the area of the circle is pi r square and uh, that is the area of this 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 so we need only one area so divided by divided with 4 so we will get this is the area and uh, and now weight is equal to specific weight into volume and uh, specific weight into volume is 2r whole square minus pi r square divided by 4 into uh, the length we consider is L and uh, fx will be acting here here fy will be acting and also w will be acting in this case uh, this w is only the elemental one but from if we consider it from phi surface 
this total w should also be added so total w this is only w1 w is equal to w1 plus w2 so this was w1 and what is w2 w2 is equal to specific weight into volume of this flu uh, this uh, rectangular fluid so that will be that volume will be mm, this is height h that volume is h into r into l h into r this will be this area and uh, this is the length inside so that is l and uh, this is the w w is equal to w1 this plus this and uh, next fx what is fx which is w a h bar and this h bar is up to here and the projected area is projected area is this one so fx is equal to w the area is uh, this is r r into l r into l is projected area and h bar h bar is uh, h plus r by 2 h plus r by 2 this h sorry where is uh, this h plus this is r by 2 and what is fy fy is equal to w a h bar and the projected area is this will be the projected area so w a is r into l and h bar is equal to h so directly here it will be acting so h bar is equal to h and uh, f h and f v what are these values f h what are the horizontal forces that are acting on the squared surface it is only f x so w r l into h plus r by 2 and what is what are the vertical forces that are acting f v is equal to mm, f y is acting and also w is acting here f y and w are in same direction so we need to add the both values in the previous case we have subtracted the weight because that is in opposite direction and uh, here f y is w r l into h plus what is w it is w1 plus w2 so this is w1 and this is w2 so we need to add both the values and we will get f v so what is angle theta that will be acting theta is equal to tan inverse of f v by f h so there is vertical force acting in this way this is f v Re resultant of uh, f y and w here this is f h and there will be resultant acting in this way and this is the theta so theta can be found by this and uh, we can find where is the force acting on this if theta is equal to some 30 degrees and uh, perpendicular to the surface uh, the 30 degrees where the surface is meeting perpendicularly there will be the resultant force acting so this is how we need to find uh, forces on the curved surface in the next video we will see an example on how to solve uh, this type of problems on the curved surface